Well, good afternoon, YouTubers, friends, and family across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide. We are on January 16th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and welcome to Morning Dew. So today we're going to have a quick five minutes weather, five minutes earthquakes. We've got a lot to take care of today. Very active day for earthquakes, very active day for weather systems as well as we were going around the globe. Uh, largest low pressure still in the Pacific week after week forming following the same jet stream and into the BC coast high pressure building in the north bringing down Extreme cold temperatures yet again later in the week as this large low pressure trough goes up over the mountains and sucks down this high pressure being pushed by another low over here. So over North America do have a pretty strong low pressure developing towards the end of the week. We're going to be looking at very strong winds, tornado warnings throughout the United States into next week. Well, most likely for the weekend, five-day forecast shows Saturday being the day that that large low-pressure system forms here. And over South America, the regular daytime heating and evaporation, large low-pressure center moving away, no threats there. And over Europe, I put out a, my video yesterday, and that was about this very large low pressure, bringing a lot of snow, high winds to Northern Europe and Ireland, and into Northern, Northwestern parts of Russia. And speaking of Russia, we're still looking at a very dominant high pressure ridge coming from the North Pole straight down to Russia. And that cold front later in the week is gonna push all the way down into parts of India and Saudi Arabia. So look for some strange cold weather events and extreme hail events coming towards these areas here. In this region, they will be pelted with some pretty strong hail storms. Around we go, we're looking at very strong tropical cyclone Berguita. And Berguita is now looking like she will hit the southern portion of Madagascar. The eye getting probably about 300 to 400 kilometers away. And over Australia, looking at extreme heat towards the end of the week. Yeah, we're just going to... There we go, 43, the maximum in some parts of Australia. So extreme heat in Australia and extreme cold in the Northern Hemisphere. And now straight to earthquakes and... Our largest earthquake being in New Zealand, or just off of New Zealand, in the Doi Island, Fiji. That was a 5.9 earthquake at a 659 kilometer depth. Now that is something I have not seen in any of my reports over the past nine months since I started my channel. So this is extreme. That's from the core, boys and girls. We've got some large crustal movement. You can see all the earthquakes are right on the crust, right on our fault lines. Largest being the 5.9. And we also had a 5.9 Guatemala. And lots of earth, or sorry, lots of volcano activity in this area right now getting updates, new updates every day 
in this area. 4.8 chili. And of course, those strong low pressure systems moving into the Alaskan Peninsula. And we've got these 4.7, 4.1. California, still minor rumbles. We've gotten a few more as of late in the last couple days. Just have a look here the last seven days for earthquakes you can see lots of very deep earthquakes in New Zealand deep earthquakes in South America Indonesia and Japan being some very deep earthquakes So this is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. This is a pretty busy week. Multiple earthquakes, Iraq and Iran. Multiple earthquakes, Burma. And of course, we had large earthquakes. Mexico. And South America. So stay aware and prepared folks, have a plan. There's a lot changing right now. We've got jet streams changing drastically, weather systems increasing dramatically, and we've got earthquakes shaking all over. Stay aware and prepared, have a plan, because these events are coming to you. The larger earthquakes, and more severe weather systems moving around the world. We are on the verge of a great change. A lot of people talking about it now. It seems to be getting out into mainstream media a bit. The grand solar minimum is statistically real. And we are slipping into a mini ice age by 2025. So stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.